Court is in session, bailiff. What is the case today? Father wants to see his daughter, but mom says he's a danger to the baby. <sighs> you guys may proceed. Your honor, this man right here is a danger to my daughter. He drinks, he smokes, she has came home with multiple bruises all over her body. And that is why I do not let him see her. And you do have proof of this, right? Um, excuse me, my damn word is not enough. Why do I have to provide proof? Ma'am, what type of fool do I look like? Your word is not enough. But please find me something, but until then, zip it! So sir, what is your argument? Your honor, everything that she's saying is a lie. I've never put my hands on my daughter. The only reason why she is so upset and won't let me see my daughter is because I have a new girlfriend. <sighs> Ma'am, is that true? Do you not allow him to see his daughter because he has a new girlfriend? I mean, yeah, but I don't know his new girlfriend, so that new girlfriend do not need to be around my baby. I told him to get rid of her or he was not seeing his baby because I fear for my daughter's life. So you lied about the abuse that your daughter has been receiving from your baby daddy. Is that correct? I mean, yeah, if you want to see it that way. Look, I fear for my daughter's life, so I had to lie. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, ma'am. You're going to pay a fine of $500. Yep, that's right, today. What? Are you serious? Are you stupid? What is the fine for? If you would have let me finish, I would have explained it to you. This fine is for lying about child abuse. Because if I would have just taken your word and ran with it, this man would have been in jail. All because you don't like his new girlfriend because you are jealous. That he is going out with someone else that is not you. That is not a good enough reason to sit up here and lie and ruin somebody else's life. And sir, you and her will have 50-50 custody. She will get her Monday through Thursday. You will get her Thursday night through Sunday night. Next case! You know what? You're stupid and you're weird, you fat squash. Oh, the name is Squishy. Bye-bye. You rock, Squishy. I know, thanks. I love you, Squishy. Bailiff, what is the case for today? Well, Squishy, today's case is child support. The mother wants to put her ex-husband on child support. Um, okay, okay, proceed. Okay, you may proceed with your argument. <laughs> I work two jobs. I'm a full college student. And I asked my ex-husband to help me with the kids, but he just tells me, oh, it's my job to take care of them. Because I birthed them. Uh, yeah, buddy, is it? Did you say that? Oh, yeah, of course I said it, your honor, but it's true. She did birth those kids, so she should be able to raise those kids those kids buddy how was you brought into this world hmm my parents sir mm. did i hear parents did i hear parents like mom and daddy mama and daddy mr buddy yes sir yep yep that's what i thought so why would you let some foolishness like that come out of your mouth why she didn't birth these kids by herself, so she shouldn't raise these kids by herself. Do you get my point? Yes, sir. Okay, how much do both of you make? 40K a year. Okay, that's good. And how about you, buddy? About $400,000 a year. About $400,000 a year. How much do you give your ex-wife? Mm, $220 a month. Sir, you pay her $220 a month, but you make $400,000 in a year. $220. Four hundred thousand dollars, four hundred that whatever you make that much, oh! sir. That's that's gas money. That's barely gas money. Okay, so that's ridiculous. Two hundred twenty dollars a month, and you make four hundred thousand dollars a year. You know what? Look, okay, I'll pay a little more. Oh, you damn right. You're gonna be paying a little more. You're gonna be paying yeah a lot a little more, Mr. Buddy. You're gonna be paying your ex-wife three hundred and sixty-six dollars. Oh, wait, that's the devil's number. 366 one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A month. Got that ass. I, I did. Sir, you're being unfair. Come on. And you're not squishy. You're fat. Eight, eight, eight. Go cry to your parents. Next case. Bailiff, what is the case for today? Well, Judge Squishy, this mother wants her baby father to move out of the house that they both live in. Oh, okay. Sarah, is it? Okay, man, what's going on today? Well, I'm glad you asked me because this man right here is a deadbeat father. Don't want to help me with none of the kids and I want him out of my house immediately. Mm-hmm. Okay, Carl, is it? What's going on today with you, sir? Your Honor, I have been taking care of the kids since they was born. She's never wanted to help feed them, clothe them. She doesn't want to do anything to help our kids. She calls them little mistakes and little bastards. I even have videos of her calling them that and leaving them alone for hours to go to parties. Oh, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Okay, Bailey, go ahead and put it in, please. Thank you. Ooh. All right, well, you may proceed. 
Y'all are such little bastards. Y'all are such mistakes. I wish I aborted you. Look, mommy has a life to live, and I'm going to go live it. Y'all can stay alone by yourself till your gag gets here. It's only going to be seven hours. Yes, Toby, put my toes in your mouth. Toby, don't forget the big toe. Oh, you taste a little fungus? Oh, that's my bad. <coughs> Sarah, it tastes like cheese. No, Toby. Well, ma'am, you need to go to jail, because ew. Where's Toby? Because I need to put him in jail to hell, too. They love people who love sucking toes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ew. Oh, sorry. My bad. Lost my composure there for a minute. Well, Cara, I see what you're, I see what you're bringing me. I see it. I smell it. So, Cara, I see your point. And, Sarah, you have no point. You have no point, okay? Carl, here's what I'm going to do. You are going to be able to stay in the house where you're raising your beautiful babies, by the way. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, you guys are good to go. And Sarah, you're moving out immediately. Immediately. Are you serious? You're I have nowhere to go. Mm. But you didn't care if your kids didn't have nowhere to go. So maybe you should go ask toe-sucking Toby if you can crash at his place. Yeah, I went there. Ugh. Court is adjourned. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go beat a 12-year-old at Go Fish. Goodbye. Squishy out. Ooh. Court is in session. Bailiff, let me hear the next case, please. Baby daddy is suing his girlfriend for trying to put him on child support. Your Honor, I work to go to school. I take care of our one-year-old. And all I ask is for $500 a month from him. Okay, why did it take you a year to put him on child support? I was told to never get the law or the court involved. Otherwise, I'd be known as a traitor and a snitch. Which is not true. Okay. Sir, now you may proceed. I told her I didn't want nothing to do with this baby, so why the hell do I have to pay child support? Did you tell her after y'all did the nasty? Or did you tell her after the baby was born? Why does it matter when I told her? Uh oh It matters, sir. Tell me. I told her before the baby was born. Ma'am, is that true? No, he's lying. He told me over text that he wanted to have a baby with me. I told him I wasn't ready, and he said if it happened, it just happened. And he'll be there. Sir, you have lied to me uh -uh, and you lied to her. <laughs> so guess what? You're going to be put on child support today. You're damn right you are. But what if I don't want the kids? Shouldn't you respect that? <clears throat> Sir, you misled her from the beginning. You told her that if she was to get pregnant that she would be there. But every dude said that to get some. And that's the problem. Because if you would have been honest to her and told her that, look, I'm only here to get in your pants to do the nasty. I won't say if a baby comes up out of this. That would be very different. But that's not the case here. You misled her. She trusted you enough. She felt comfortable with you enough to do the nasty with you. Thinking that if a baby was to come from this, you would be around. Because of what you told her this is bull you suck bro you a man you supposed to be on my side uh -huh. there is no size wrong is wrong and right is right you will pay her half of your check we'll have officers doing random checkups on you to make sure that you are safe because i know that sometimes when you put people on child support they want to get a little petty and try to threaten people's lives bam bam what do i be back next time you need to go to hell you bastard if hell smells like your breath then i'd rather not go ha <laughs> ha Ma'am, why are you crying? You opened up 38 credit cards in your daughter's name and you're the one crying? And your point is, well, because I can't mess up my good credit and she can still fix hers. Your Honor, I can't even get a busted down apartment because whenever they looked at my credit score, it was so bad that they laughed in my face. Ma'am, I'm more mad at what the hell you bought with these damn credit cards. Um, excuse me, those are private. You can't read those out loud. It's not on your credit history, remember? So, Lexi, do you mind if I read it out loud? Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Well, ma'am, you bought three TVs, eight couches, nine big daddy swings, four big juicy, um, winners, and KFC multiple times, ma'am. What the hell? I was lonely, and it was years ago, so can't we let just bygones be bygones? Look, judge me all you want, but I needed those to help me in my life. Oh, you was the one that made chicken and dick, it wasn't you. Nasty. Yeah, so here's what I'm gonna do for you, ma'am. You're going to jail and all this will be put on your credit report and your credit cards and all that good stuff. Because your daughter wasn't even old enough to get into these stores. Yeah, court is adjourned. Whatever you do to somebody else is gonna get right done back to you. It's gonna get done right back to you. I had to correct myself. Thank you. Bye-bye. You are being unfair. I don't deserve this. Oh, no, but your daughter deserved to have big wieners on her credit report? I think the hell not. Get the hell out of here. Bye-bye. Little nasty. Man, did they go to jail for life? Those heathens have stepped on my grass. Sir, I can't. Blah, blah, blah. Sir, I cannot 
send them to jail for stepping on your grass. What kind of judge are you? You're supposed to bring justice, but you're bringing bullshit. Or hush your mouth, please. All right, kids, so what happened? Why is Mr. Brad so mad that you stepped on his grass? Well, Your Honor, to be very fair, me and my brother was walking home from work, and we walked past Mr. Brad's house. We walked past his grass, not on his grass, but walked past his grass on the sidewalk. Yeah. I know you want to step on my grass, you little grew hogger. What the hell is a grew hogger? Sir, your business ass muncher. I want these freaking kids arrested now. I want justice. Yeah, he even went as far as putting a picture on the yard of his butt crack to keep anybody away. Why are you looking anyways, pervs? You threatened to show them your butt crack? Yes, I need them to know that I'm serious. I heard enough. Uh, Mr. Brad, yeah, you're going... You're getting a fine for public indecency, disturbing of the peace, and just plain old having a hairy crack. Court is adjourned. Go see the people for your freaking ticket, please. Get out of my face. Oh, you haven't seen the last of me and my crack. You will regret this. I think I already have regretted it. These cases are going to freaking kill me. My daughter does not need to lock her door in my house because she pays no damn bills. Ma'am, your daughter does deserve some privacy, okay? The hell do you mean? You lock your door so that you can have privacy, right? I am a grown woman. I have earned the right to privacy. She hasn't. Ma'am, she is a teenager, okay? She might want to go freaking clean her head or something. Clear her head. Maybe relax in her room because her room is her safe place. And if you take that away, what does she have, huh? Sweetheart, why do you lock your door in the first place so that your mom can just have some type of peace at mind? Don't give her none, though. Honestly, to get away from her, to change my clothes without her barging into my room... I'm just trying to unwind from the hard day that I've had. That is not a good enough reason, so Squishy, you're a judge. You can side with me. Ma'am, 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 you're wrong, okay? Because the way that I see it, she locks her door to get away from you. You want control over her, and you feel like if she locks her door, you don't have no more control over her because you can't just bust in on her and see if she's doing something bad or not. And things like that you wouldn't have to do if you just sat down and talked to your daughter. Actually understood where she was coming from, her feelings, her emotions, everything like that. So yes, she can continue to lock her door. A court is adjourned. You know what? You would be a horrible father. Excuse me, ma'am. I have three beautiful goddaughters, okay? And they love me, okay? The Yodi Squad is tight. So suck a fat toe. Because at the end of the day, what you have to understand is kids don't have, or kids can't talk to their parents nowadays. So that's why they run away to their rooms. Have an open space. You have an open child. Bye. Sir. Why did you slap your neighbor? I found out that he was talking snack about me to the other neighbors and you would not make me look like no fool. Oh, I did no such thing. I moved in three weeks ago. Really not a fighter or a smack talker, you know what I'm saying? But I would like to say, John, I mean, that's my name, Billy. You got some issues, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Sir, did you actually hear him talk crap about you? Oh, no, ma'am, but- I am a man. I'm sorry, man, but look, I heard it from my neighbor, Kevin. He told me that John here was talking crap about me. Um, sir, did it ever occur to you that maybe Kevin is the one talking crap about you? That son of a crook sucker, I'm about to go tear him a new one. Word is adjourned, and Billy, no slapping. Whatever you say, ma'am. I am a man. All right, bye, ma'am.